I'm Mauricio Maestorrena, and I'm going to show you another project I did using the Volca sample, core Volca sample, and an Arduino Uno. So, my last uh, project using the Arduino and the Volca sample, uh, it, it made you be able to play each sound uh, with a MIDI keyboard, each sample with a MIDI keyboard, uh, by using just one MIDI channel. And this is MIDI channel 16. So this project has that has that um, capability too. So if you go to channel MIDI channel 16 and play notes uh, MIDI note zero to 10, you you are going to be able to play the sample like this. So that's still in this project, but I added two new new features. The first one is if I go to any uh, MIDI channel from 1 to 10, as I'm going to do right now in my MIDI keyboard, so in this channel I have this, this, this sample, but I'm, I'm not now able to play it like this. As you know, this is not uh, a feature that the Volca sample has, so uh, what I'm doing is sending the CC, the CC MIDI message of, of the speed knob at the same time as I'm playing the note. So, so you're going to be able to play uh, chromatically or uh, any note. So this is the first new feature. Uh, when you play it like this, you are only playing it like a uh, monophonic synth, so you cannot play several notes at the same time. You can do the same thing with, with uh, other samples, like for example... So when you upload the sample that you're going to play like this, uh, uh, I recommend you, you uh, make it to be in, in C notes C4, or notes, MIDI note 60, uh, because that's the reference point to all the tuning on the keyboard. So it, it works for drum too. So uh, the other feature, new feature it has is if I go back to channel 16, I'm going to be able to play like this. So you can play uh, uh, up to four notes at the same time, but you have to set uh, the sample seven, eight, nine, and ten to the same sample, so it can sound like like this. Because if you have one of these uh, samples with a different one, uh, it's going it's going to sound weird like this. For example, I'm going to change that one to another thing. Some cool, but uh, you can experiment with that. With the... So uh, I'm going to play something. Be uh, if you want to record the the different notes, make sure the that the motion sequencing uh, sequencer is turned on on your vocal sample. So when recording, you can do something like this. <laughs> 